Okay. Let's talk about the subscapular lesion. They are described by Smith a long time ago, like hidden lesions. And for many years, there are few publications about it. They acquired clinical relevance in the 80s and surgical relevance uh, with the arthroscopy, with this man, Stephen Burkhardt. In general, the initial uh, there are initial publica publications about isolated lesions, but nowadays we observe that about 90% are usually combined lesions, anterior superior type 1 and B, especially in subscapularis in supraspinatus tendon. There are, uh, can be a traumatic uh, or traumatic. A traumatic cause the degenerative uh, conditions of the tendon. The roller ring uh, mechanism in flexion and internal rotation that uh, compress the tendon against the coracoid. Sorry for that. And uh, the most part of the tendinous insertion and lesions are located in facets one and two, like described by uh, Yo. And according to you, how bigger is the lesion, less strength to propagate the lesion. So these lesions must be repaired to avoid progression. And about classification, there is no consensus in this paper uh, published this year, no consensus about classification systems. We use uh, usually the Lafosse classification for these lesions. And in the physical exam, we observe uh, increasingly uh, external rotation, especially in complete subscapular lesion, especially in traumatic lesions, this is uh, very frequently. Both uh, the tests are usually positive with difference in sensibility and specificity. But when you uh, do the three tests, we uh, have a high sensibility. So perform the three tests uh, to uh, have a good uh, diagnosis. And MRI, pay attention in the biceps. There's high frequency of subscapular rupture when the biceps is subluxated. And Four points to pay attention in MRI. The lesion detachment, the bispital position with uh, subluxation of the biceps, we can observe that uh, frequently have more uh, subscapularis lesion. Evolu in sagittal plane and the atrophy grade. There's a um, uh, uh, much common in the superior portion of subscapularis. About the portals, we use uh, for the type one and two, just the articular view for the standard portal, standard posterior view, and for type three and four, lateral and anterolateral portals. For anchor placement, the anterior or anterior superior, superior, and for suture passing, the anterior or anterior inferior. The same for the biceps tenodesis. It's very important uh, the uh, observe the comma sign. This is uh, formed by superior glenomerular ligament, the carcuumeral ligament, and sub, uh, fibers of subscap. And this is the key for reduce the lesion. 
how we can uh, see in this video. This is a combined lesion with super, subscapularis and supraspinatus, and when we uh, reduce making a traction in, the, in this corner, we reduce perfectly the lesion and reduce the lesion of the supraspinatus tube. This is another patient with uh, showing in a left shoulder an articular posterior view, the biceps frayed and subluxated, and subscapular uh, superior third uh, with uh, lesion, with detachment. And about anchor position and suture techniques. In this paper, you show us that anchor position doesn't matter in partial lesions and small lesions. But when the, the lesion progresses, there are uh, more anchors, uh, especially inferior, in the inferior uh, portion of the last tuberosity. We have to use this. We, we listen about uh, single versus double row uh, now. And double row is be a mechanical superior to in uh, subscap. But no clinical difference. This uh, paper show no re rupture or healing difference in these cases. But more re rupture when uh, there are combined than isolated lesions. And about coracoplasty. Just when we observe a narrow space, uh, less than five millimeters, it's uh, when we perform a coracoplasty. So, posterior articular view, it's good for type one and two. Lateral uh, and anterolateral view uh, for the lesions uh, three and four. Tenotomy or tenodesis uh, for the biceps, identify the coma sign, make uh, suture tractions, and release the subscap, anterior, posterior, and superior, especially in retracted lesions. Identify the nerve, like in this video. But don't touch this. Single row with modified Mason Allen suture is my uh, preference, sometimes double row. This is a, a patient with uh, Alaphos type two lesion. We are observing a, a left shoulder in posterior articular view, preparing the footprint, the biceps tenodesis with uh, Tenotomy and tenodesis with a uh, knotless anchor. In the top of the bispo, bispo groove. Another anchor in uh, Less tuberosity, passing the sutures in a Mason Allen uh, modified configuration, and then tied. Uh, you can make this with a, a single passer like a bird beak or a scorpion or first pass types of uh, suture passing. And this is the final construct. This is a right shoulder with a posterior articular view. This is another way to do the same with uh, 
one single anterior portal with uh, a footprint uh, or a, uh, a knotless anchor and preparing the footprint, suture passing, and then repairing with uh, a knotless anchor. And this is the final construct. For the LaFosse type 3 lesions, we usually uh, do uh, uh, perform it by subacromial view. This is a left shoulder with subacromial view. Uh, the suture traction, it's a uh, it's uh, a key for this. We can uh, manipulate the tendon better. After prepare the footprint, the suture passage, and then uh, remind the first anchor more inferiorly. In this case, we use uh, two or three anchors. Generally, two anchors is sufficient. And the second anchor more superiorly. And this is the final result in subacromial view and by articular view. So take home message Isolated lesions are less frequent, fre frequently. Diagnosis, uh, we have to perform an accurate physical exam and MRI. Always evaluate the biceps tendon. Identify the coma sign. And remember, only uh, the superior thirds uh, are visualized, visualized in articular view. Uh, for uh, big lesions or complete lesions, the subacromial view is uh, the point. Extensive lesions, uh, 70 degrees uh, optic is an uh, option. Multiple portals, extraarticular view, recognize the uh, arthroscopic limits, and for uh, grade five, consider tendon transfer or for open, for retracted and isolated uh, le big lesions. Thank you very much.